Hello, I just want to share a few things with you regarding cholesterol. For us to understand whether cholesterol is, uh, is good or bad, let's uh, discuss about together. you about the cell with you. The germ cell that is the half cell from the mother and the half cell from the father. They unite to become one cell embryo and that uh, embryo cell goes through a phase of differentiation, control multiplication to become 3 kg baby and 3 4 kg placenta in a marvelous way under the surveillance of a hormone called estrogen which is synthesized from cholesterol. Okay, what did I mean by differentiation? That is the one cell becomes 2, 4, 8, 16 more or less. It breaks up. One cell will become kidney, one cell will become uh, heart, the other cell becomes skin, the other cell become bone. That is the marvelous way the creation works. And this is called uh, differentiation. And this cell uh, which uh, uh, is, uh, has a membrane with the fluid content inside, that remarkable cell membrane which does 1001 functions uh, is made up of cholesterol. The cell has to go grow this much, then it has to uh, be shed and it has to be die and then it has to be regrown. If it does not die and if it goes on uh, multiplying without differentiation, that is be what is called as uh, neoplasm or malignancies or benign tumors. And the same way there is a programmed cell that ordained in the cell but it has to be new form, new cells have to be reformed again. If it dies and does not grow again uh, because the surveillance of the hormones androgen estrogen is lacking, that also will lead on to degenerative diseases. Okay. So now what I want to tell you is that cholesterol becomes the cell membrane in which the cell is contained and this cholesterol becomes the hormone. So, the name androgen estrogen, uh, they are called together as uh, steroid hormones because they are derived from cholesterol. So, the name itself is derived from cholesterol. The cell is made up of cholesterol and the cell's governing factors, life giving factors or life protecting factors, protecting from the cells from going for neoplasm, going for degenerative disease to become a robust healthy tissue and life ma maintained in the cells is governed by steroid hormones which are basically derived from cholesterol. So, cholesterol is cell, cholesterol is the life giving hormone to the cell, androgen estrogen. So, in one nutshell, one simple word cholesterol is equated with life in the cells. So, is cholesterol good or bad or is cholesterol is essential or not? The answer is obvious. Where and how this cholesterol we get from? And uh, so, let me say the body has to consume or the diet has to contain essential fatty acids. For example, let me say the nuts and the seeds, they have baby plant or a seedling inside. So, all that goes to support the life of the plant will come from the seed to the oil. So, because the oil is derived from nuts and seeds, coconut oil from coconut seed, gingerly oil from gingerly seed, palm oil in oil from Malaysian palm seed. And there are 46 types of essential fatty acids, DHA, DHEA, linolenic, oleic, linoleic acid. Not one oil will give us all the 46. So, we need uh, four different types of oil. Uh, may, namely coconut oil, ginger oil, palm oil and groundnut oil. So, oil fat is life associated fatty acids. It has phytoestrogen, vitamin E, lipoproteins, growth hormone, growth trophic factors. All of them put together in one simple word is life factors or transferred to the oil. So, the virgin oil with its fat content is equated with life. And uh, at this point, I want to mention, if we do a refining of the oil or in other words, if we take the fatty acid content out of the oil, what it does it equate to? It is like a paddy without rice or a groundnut without a kernel inside. It is a dead seed. It does not have life factors. So, when we refine, when we remove the fatty acid content, the life factors are removed. So, the oil languishes, the oil is made to die and we are consuming it. 
there is no life factor in that. So, how will our cell uh, derive cholesterol or its health or life from it? So, no point in consuming refined oils or the oil that are packeted, though it uh, does not have life factors. Same way, sunflower seed, uh, God has meant that to be used for uh, a parrot or a sparrow or probably a chicken. It is an open seed as all of us can uh, visualize. The birds will come and pluck it and they also need seeds from which they can synthesize their fatty acids, their cholesterol which is required for their life. So, sunflower seed has six times less growth factors, vitamin E, HDL, LDL than groundnut. So, virgin oil means uh, the oil should be obtained straight from the oil mill with its fat content. Same way egg with its yolk from which a chicken comes out. Again there is a life uh, springing up that is also life as fatty acid. One egg per day we need to take as omelette or scrambled egg that is also life as fatty acid. So and the other fifth one is uh, uh, fish with the scales and gills they contain. They are true fish rich in omega 3, 6 fatty acids which also becomes essential fatty acids. So, all these five uh, components of uh, fatty acids make up uh, the uh, essential fatty acids and we have to consume at least 25 teaspoons to supply 800 calories which is one third percentage of the daily supply of calories which should come from fatty acids. 30 percent should come from fatty acids, 40 percent should come from uh, carbohydrate and 30 percent should come from protein which is which are building blocks. And most of these pulses, nuts and seeds they also contain amino acids and proteins. So, the important the coconut oil, ginger oil, palm oil, and oil with this fat content please consume and olive oil is the highest fertility index. So, when I finish this, uh, uh, this fat, essential fatty acids, they are absorbed, assimilated, the body synthesizes cholesterol from that and that is transported in HDL, LDL which is the chariot for transporting uh, from which uh, the LDL, HDL, uh, IDL, they uh, donate cholesterol esters when the cell membrane is synthesized. And uh, or when the steroid hormone is synthesized and the cholesterol esters are utilized for bile acid synthesis. And when the LDL, IDL, they donate uh, the cholesterol esters, they become HDL. When the cell membrane, it dies, that cell membrane uh, cholesterol is adsorbed onto HDL to become LDL. This metabolic process of transformation between LDL, HDL keeps uh, constantly going on as a metabolic process. So, this cholesterol is uh, uh, as I mentioned already is uh, life in the cells, this cholesterol becomes cell membrane, cholesterol is a steroid hormone androgen, estrogen which governs the cell cycle, cell metabolism, protects the cell from going for cancers and for degenerative diseases and maintains the robust health in the cell to be organized as tissue and organs and perform the body's functions. So, cholesterol is essential for life and cholesterol is life in the cells. So, what about the other fat? The other fat is triglyceride that is animal fat is harmful. So, what are the sources of animal fat? When we consume mutton and chicken, the meat pieces are having protein and that is good for us. But the fat of the meat should not be consumed. That should be removed and it should be discarded or burnt and wash the blood away at least seven times yeah. before we you can, you can consume that. But there is another source of uh, triglyceride that is fish Good without rich. scales and gills like prawns, crabs, lobsters, shark, uh, swordfish and uh, I don't know much names of the fish. If they do not have scales and gills, they belong to the water living toxin containing animal group. And unlike mutton chicken, they have a toxin in them uh, which resembles, for example, I am telling you this uh, toxin of the snakes and toxin of the scorpions. And whatever the flesh of the crab or the lobster or the shark fish they resemble in our portion of the cells, 
that bit is destroyed by autoimmune mediator mechanism which is triggered by what we call molecular mimicry so whatever that compound resembles for example the brain tissue or vessels blood vessels we go for something called acute demyelination or cerebrovasculitis microangiopathic vasculitis microangiopathy hemolytic anemia where the blood cells all the three cell lines wbcs white blood cells red blood cells platelets get destroyed by the autoimmune mediated toxin triggered by the consumption of fish without scales and gills uh, this bit i made clear that cholesterol sources are the essential fatty acids containing life as fat is contained in the nuts and seeds preparations oil virgin oil is fat content egg one egg per day with its yolk and the milk and dairy products including butter ghee and fish with scales and gills which are omega 3 is fat yes they are essential and let me tell you hdl should be above 60 if it drops less than 45 uh, because uh, this uh, fatty acid comes to cholesterol which is utilized for rejuvenation of every tissue namely blood vessel islets of langer hands if uh, if the hdl drops less than 45 it develops 60% or six fold increase in myocardial infarction stroke Uh, and uh, so hdl should be above 60 less than 45 we are buying degenerative neoplastic diseases to the score of 60% what about triglyceride triglyceride should be less than 160 if it crosses 265 we get six fold mi because the hyperlipidemic serum can produce uh, uh, atherosclerosis atherogenic changes and it can produce blockage of the blood vessels so Uh, triglyceride is harmful and not to can be consumed whereas cholesterol is essential for life and let me tell you a few more components where specifically the adipose tissue or the fat play an important role uh god is kept uh, uh, pasted our kidneys at the back because we are erect on two feet it should not drop down so in the back retropendal structure got a space to the perinephry fat if we starve ourselves if we say i don't want uh, uh, to consume fatty acid containing diet and my body cannot synthesize cholesterol or we call it cholesterol deprived diet the fat will be utilized it will not be adipose tissue will not be formed there the kidney will toss for example if somebody hits you in the abdomen there's a blunt injury and there is no a uh, vertebrae or skull or skeleton protecting the structures which are kept inside the abdomen there are a lot of solid organs there but because they are all the blood vessels especially wherever there is blood vessel they are protected by the padding of the adipose tissue mesentery omentum epicardial fat and because uh, the nature beautiful nature of the adipose tissue doesn't resist it sort of gives way somehow the blood vessels inside them they don't get rupture and that's a beautiful mechanism which god's wisdom operates in protecting the blood vessels supply in our body so adipose tissue maintains our temperature it keeps the kidney in place and it is a wonderful uh, it's a basic uh, uh, structure in the cell membranes the life in the cell uh, and uh, many more functions the adipose tissue does in our body and we need cholesterol and this the triglyceride that we have to shun away from and it is not the cholesterol